All right, guys, so in this video, I wanted to share with you a bug zapper I got. I got this for Father's Day. I've been playing around with it. The brand is not really important. What's most important is that you can kill flying insects, mostly flies and small little flying insects in and around your patio, especially when you're barbecuing. When you're barbecuing and you see flies hanging around you, you really don't have the option to use a spray because you have food around. What better way to tackle your fly problem than using a bug zapper? With this bug zapper, this particular brand is real easy to work. It's an on and off button and then there's a switch where you can turn on the light if you choose to but more importantly once you turn it on you hold on to this button here and that will electrify the swatter. Unlike other fly swatters where you have to wait for the fly to actually land before you hit it, this one you can actually hit the flies in midair. So there's no need to wait for the flies to land. You can hit them in midair if you've got good aim. With the wide surface area, you shouldn't have too much of a problem missing and hitting the target. I tested this out on other bugs, mostly leaf hoppers. Leaf hoppers are these little white tiny bugs that like to jump from leaf blade to leaf blade. And they mostly like to hang out on your turf where the shade and sun meets. All I do is go around and start swinging at least one to two inches above the grass. This is also good for other bugs, other flying bugs. Sometimes you'll see these little flying little white insects and they usually like to stay in one place but they hover around and there could be a billion of them. It's really hard to see unless you really look closely. What better way to test this out on flies? So in order for me to test this out on flies, I'm gonna leave a piece of food laying around and see what happens. Yeah. Look at that. Dead meat. Ha. I think I clipped its wings. It can't even fly anymore. <laughs> you are dead meat. A fly that can't fly. Oh my god. Do not do this on hornets because I don't think the electric shock is high enough to actually kill the hornets. So you risk actually getting stung. You'll just make the hornets more angry. So don't do this on hornets. I didn't test this out, but I'm just guessing hornets will be a tougher kill. So I've seen a product like this for a while now and I've been on the fence about it. But since I have it now, it's actually pretty fun to use, especially when you're cooking and you don't want to use any sprays or chemicals. So this is a chemical free to actually get rid of flies. Flies are the main pest that I have to deal with in the summertime, especially when I'm cooking. So I made multiple videos on how to treat bugs in your yard. For more information on this topic, you can tune to these videos right here.